Welcome to a lesson on solving for unknown values using the properties of a tangent to a circle. Let's first review that property. A line is tangent to a circle if and only if the line is perpendicular to the radius drawn to the point of tangency. So if this is a tangent line where B is the point of tangency, radius AB will be perpendicular to line BC. Let's go ahead and take a look at our first example. Here we're given a tangent segment and the radius of the circle drawn to that point of tangency, which we know forms a right angle. So now that we know we have a right triangle here, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to determine the value of x. So we'll use the Pythagorean theorem that states that the sum of the squares of the legs of a right triangle equal to the square of the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So this side is the hypotenuse, therefore it has to be c, and we'll let this side be side a, and this side be b. So we'll have x squared plus 20 squared must equal 24 squared. So now we'll go ahead and simplify this and then solve. So we'll have x squared plus 20 squared is 400 equals 24 squared is equal to 576. 24 times 24. So now we'll subtract 400 on both sides. That will be zero, so we'll have x squared equals, this will be 176. Now we'll square root both sides of the equation. Since x is a length, we're only going to have the principal square root or the positive value. So we have x equals the square root of 176. Now we should try to simplify this. So let's go ahead and see if we can identify any perfect square factors of 176. This number is divisible by 4. 176 is 4 times 44. 4 is equal to 2 times 2, which are both prime. 44 is 4 times 11. 11 is prime. And then 4 is, again, 2 times 2. So if we want to show some work here, we have x equals the square root of, we have 4 factors of 2 and a factor of 11. Every time we have two equal factors, we have a perfect square factor. So 2 times 2 is 4, that's a perfect square. 2 times 2 is 4, that's a perfect square. So this pair gives us a 2, this pair gives us a 2. So we have a 4 outside the square root, so 4 times the square root of 11. Now let's take a look at our second example. Again, it's the same type of problem. Here we're given a tangent segment and the radius of the circle drawn to the point of tangency. So we know we have a right angle here, so now that we have a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to determine the value of x. But notice how now we're going to be solving for the hypotenuse, so this will be side c, and we'll call this side a, and this side b. So again, the Pythagorean theorem, we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So now we're going to have 8 squared plus 15 squared equals x squared. So 8 squared is equal to 64, 15 squared is equal to 225, 64 plus 225 equals 289, and again we're going to take the square root of both sides, and because it's a length on a triangle, we're only going to consider the principal or positive square root. So we have x equals the square root of 289. And actually, 289 is a perfect square. It might not be easy to recognize, but 289 is equal to 17 times 17. So this simplifies nicely. x is equal to 17 units. I hope you found these examples helpful.